What's going on guys? Today we are doing an unboxing of the Zoids Liger Zero Changing Armor System Set Clear Version. This is a Kotobukiya Shop exclusive toy from Japan and was released in 2014. I got this a week ago as a Christmas present from Aunt Vicky Uncle John. And I gotta be honest with you, this thing is pretty cool in my opinion. All the pieces are, are translucent plastic. Um, it comes with a... Naked Liger Zero, a Holotech one that is, and th three Holotech armor, changing armor system units, Jaeger, Schneider, and Panzer, and a BitCloud figure. As you can see on the box, this box art is made by Mercy Rabbit. And like I said, it's, it's a Kotobukiya Shop exclusive. I didn't get, and Vicky and Uncle John didn't get me this from Kotobukiya shop. They got it from BigBadToyStore.com. BigBadToyStore.com is the only American online retailer to get to own, to have this thing in stock. All the other sites, not so much. I checked every other site on the every other American Japanese toy store retailer. I tried Gundam Planet. I tried Image Anime. They didn't have them. I tried Amazon and eBay as well, and they didn't have them either. The only non- Japanese or American store to have this thing is G-Wing Hobby, which is in Malaysia. But enough of that. So we talked about the front of, block of the box. Let's take a look on the side of the box. We have a picture that's based on the on the front, and over here is this little little this little handle over here that you can hold like a suitcase. And yeah, the box is pretty heavy. It's kind of like the um box of an HMM Iron Kong and Iron Kong sh shoe bolts, well, Schwarz if you're a Japanese fan. And speaking of Iron Kong Schwarz version, the box is actually the same size as an Iron Kong Schwarz version. But is it the same size as, a, as an HMM Gojulus? No, it's not. On the back we have the naked Liger Zero with, with a, with a, with a, with a nice illustration and the decals. And w they have either, you have the Liger in either modes. Jaeger, Schneider, and Panzer. And over there are the decals. On the side of the box, we have the Liger Zero in its three forms. Like I said, Jaeger, Schneider, and Panzer. On the side of the box, we have nice hand-drawn illustrations of the Liger Zero. Uh, well... Translucent hand-drawn illustrations along with the actual toys in all three modes. Now you might be wondering, can you build all three of them, you might ask? No, you can't. You can only you only get one naked Liger Zero. And no, it doesn't come with the original Liger Zero white armor. It just doesn't. So, oh, and on the bottom of the box, it's the same as the top. Okay, enough of the, um, enough of the, enough of talking about the box. Let's go ahead and open this up. You gotta pull these little tabs down. Tabs out. Pull the tabs out. Put the box down. And just open this up. And, yeah, it actually comes with two white boxes. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Kind of like the HMM Iron Kong and HMM Iron Kong Schwarz version. HMM Gojo has had three white boxes. One big one and two small ones. This one has one big box and one little box. So, let me put this iPhone down and get the boxes out. Okay, here we have both white boxes out of the box. I think I'm going to start with the big one. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's 
Okay. So the first brew we get is a translucent purplish black sprue. Its letter is letter S, and it's for the um, Schneider unit. It's part of the blades of the Schneider unit. And on the side, we have another S-Runner. And honestly, these pieces are pretty small. I gotta give Kotobuki a credit for giving nice small pieces. Next runner we get is a translucent black runner. These, these are part of the guns of the Panzer unit. And the letter is X, is number X. On the same, on the side, there's another one. And, yeah, these pieces look, this, bl this translucent black doesn't look all that bad. The next runner we get is a shade of blue. It's for the Jaeger unit, and it's number O. And I don't even know what shade of blue it's supposed to be. Maybe it's like a sapphire or something. Maybe cobalt, navy, or I don't know what color it is. I don't, maybe it's a royal blue, but... Eh, what are you going to do? Okay. We actually get our first green runner. This is for the, um... This is letter O in the Panzer unit. And it's for the face. And on this side, we get an orange runner for the Schneider unit. These are for the face, the legs, and I don't know where these parts go. And it's letter... Oh, also letter O. Hmm. Two O-runners in here. One for the Panzer unit, and one for the Schneider unit. How interesting. Alright. Next runner we get is... Letter W. Letter W. And it's for the Panzer, and again, it's for the Panzer unit, and it's this translucent black. And we get, we finally get a translucent baby blue runner for the Liger Zero body, and it's letter number E. And I actually happen to own the original HMM Liger Zero with me. Come to think of it. Liger Zero and Redhorn were the first two HMM kits I ever got. I got them around Christmas time of 2010. Okay, now we got another runner for the Liger for the original Liger Zero. Its letter is P, and these are some translucent white bits. And there's the cockpit over there. Cockpit nose. I don't know. And yeah, it's just more part it's just parts for the body. On this side we get the C plate for the Liger Zero. And it's well it's the legs. It's the legs. And they're quite small, to be honest with you. Put that to the side. Okay, we have more parts of the legs for the original Liger Zero. Its letter is D. And again, it's it's, it's translucent black. On the side, there's another runner for the for the for the D plate. We more orange bits. Letter for the Schneider. More orange for the Schneider for the Schneider unit. Its letter is letter Y. Letter Y. And yeah, two Y plates for the Schneider unit. Hmm, they're good. They're all right. I like this shade of orange though. Orange is a good color. It isn't a bad color to be honest with you. Okay, we've got more green plates for the for the for the for the Panzer, and the letter is T. Yeah, this green. Actually, this green is isn't too bad. I don't even know what shade of green it's supposed to be. Maybe like moss green, something like that. And on the side, there's of course 
another tea unit. I mean, tea plate for the panzer unit. The last bag in num box, the last bag in box number one we get is a translucent blue runner for the Jaeger unit, and it's letter S. Yeah. These are for the, I believe these are for the backpack of the Liger Zero Jaeger. Not quite sure. And on the side, there's another S runner. That's it for box number one. Moving on to box number two. These are actually the um, smaller runners. Runners. Okay. The first small runner we get is some translucent red. Like pinkish red. These are actually the missiles for the Panzer unit. And its letter is... Y. Letter Y. And here we have a U-plate for the... For the... Jaeger unit. For the Jaeger unit. Two U-plate plates for the Jaeger unit, that is. Move this to the side. The next runner we get are more numerous runner runners. We get a translucent white runners. We get translucent Q runners for the original Liger Zero. There's two of them. We get a translucent red L plate. I believe those are the caps of the Liger Zero. We also get a G plate for the Liger Zero. Don't know where they go. A Z plate for the Panzer unit. And another translucent white runner for the Liger Zero. Okay. More black pieces for the, um, for the Jaeger unit. And it's letter W. And there's two of them in there. The next runner we get are more translucent baby blue for the Liger Zero. Letter is M. M. And a translucent black runner. Letter is F. And it's for the Liger Zero. I have no idea where the F runners go either. I have no... The next runner we get is... Actually, I don't know what... Oh, yeah. Is a... Another, another... I don't know where this... I can't... It's not... It's hard to see the letter... The... The, the, the katakana in there. Don't know what it's for. Oh, this is for the Panzer unit. It's all translucent black. The letter is S. Move that to the side. The next bag we get is a translu another translucent black runner, letter H. This is for the paws and the tail. And that's pretty much and that's pretty much it. Next bag we get is a Darker as a darker translucent green for the Panther unit, and its letter is V. And there's two of them actually. This green is more light, while this is more of a dark green. Not sure what kind of green it's supposed to be. Baby blue for the Schneider unit, and these are the blades, the seven blades of the of the Liger Zero Schneider. Its letter is V, V. On the side, there's, well, another V plate. Another V plate. Next runner we get is letter Y for the, uh, for the, for the Jaeger unit, and it's translucent black. Yeah, like I said, all the parts of this kit are translucent. And I don't know where these go.
in this runner we get some translucent gold for the for the original ligers for the liger and the some poly caps you get one pc1 runner two pc2 runners and two pc3 runners next bag we we get our translucent gold claws and teeth more cat red more translucent red caps and translucent black little bits and translucent more translucent white bits as well okay next runner we get is some translucent black and some translucent brown for the gun that goes on his chest the next bag we get is the zoid core a translucent green piece for the Jaeger unit, the cockpit, and the BitCloud figure. Letter A. You get heads, parts for the head. It's just parts, random parts for the head. Enough said. And on the side we get more translucent blue for the for the Jaeger unit. Next runner we get is a another black unit, another black runner, another black translucent black runner for the um for the original Liger Zero and a translucent green runner, dark green runner for the um Jaeger unit. I mean Panzer unit. Next runner we get is letter R, and it's for the it's for the um, Schneider unit, and it's more of this dark purplish, this translucent dark purplish black color. And on this side we get a translucent black runner, and it's for the Jaeger unit, letter V. The last bag we get is a translucent light green piece for the Panzer unit, letter R, as well as a translucent blade runner for the um, Schneider unit. These are the these are more blades, it's letter U, and that's all the bags. The last thing we get is a in the instruction booklet of the of the kit. You got. It's got, oh, and you got, and it comes with this coupon thingy, just like all the other HMM kits. It's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 pages. 44 if you count the front covers and back covers. And that's it for the instruction booklets. And honestly, I'm all done. I'm done. So tonight, I probably won't start the instruction. So tonight, I'm probably not going to start assembly. Maybe because, well, I'm just going to wait till I might do it the weekend. But I've got other, other fish to fry. Yeah, I got to finish that as well. So guys, this has been my unboxing of the HMM Liger Zero Changing Armor System Set Clear version. Tell me what you think of this video in the comments below, and we'll chat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm Stephen Dulcie, and I will see you next time.